Hello everybody and welcome to Super Mario 64. Hey wait, I don't remember this being in Super Mario 64. Yoshi? What are you doing here at the start? Hello? Hi Mario! That's not what Yoshi sounds like. Hi Mario! It's great to see you again, but I have some bad news. Bowser learned the secret to reaching the world and the star spirits, and he set, set up a base set. The big problem is that now he has access to a whole heap of star portals, which lead all over the Mushroom Kingdom. He's been using them to transport swarms of his troops, and they're causing chaos all over the place. Mario, if you're going to stop Bowser, you will need to use the star road at the, t at the top of the Star Leap Tower to find him. Bowser has sealed all the doors leading up to the tower, but you should be able to break through if you can collect enough power stars to break the seals. Good luck! Yeti! Alright, so here we are in Super Mario Star Road, a game made by Skellix, I believe his name is. I don't know. Also, I took some fall damage there. Anyway, I've played most of the 3D Mario games on my channel, excluding Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know why I haven't played that yet. I should get onto it, I love that game. But anyway, we're now in the first level, which I forgot to totally read out what it was. But essentially we're just going to be making our way to the top. Um, I'm not sure what exactly I can bring to this game that hasn't already in Let's Plays. Actually, I think there's only one main Let's Play that exists of this game, so yeah, it'll be nice to have this on my channel, I guess. Also, I totally didn't mean to do a backflip there, I was not holding the Z button. I don't know why Mario did. He should probably listen to me more, because yeah, if not, we're going to end up in a world of trouble. You again! Are you following me or what? Well. You better prepare yourself for a tough battle if you think you're going to go taking my power star again, because I'm not going to go easy on you this time. Why exactly did Bowser trust this guy after he failed him the first time? Like, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be trusting people who have let you down once. That's actually a good life lesson in general. And also, it appears he went into a bit of a depression with ice cream and got super fat, so he's falling ten times faster. And I think he takes more than the standard three hits he did last time. We'll find out this go. Hit number three? Yeah, he's definitely taking more hits too. So, maybe ice cream has helped him. Like, I mean, it probably made him feel better, which helped as well, but... In general, it just toughened him up. He takes four! Why does he take four? He, it should be either three or five. Those are the general numbers. Ack! Defeated again! Next time it will be me walking away with your power stars, though! And here we have it! Our first power star in the game! Take a picture. Are you taking the picture? Take a picture. You can't see it now. All you can see is Mario bouncing his chunky legs. I'm not sure why I went into that transition, but... Yeah. <laughs> this is my channel, I generally just start talking however I do. And now with that, we save and continue. You've recovered one of the power stars. Keep searching, you need seven more before you can open any seal doors. Because for some reason in this game, to get to the first Bowser level, it's 20 power stars. Where in the first Super Mario 64, it was only 8. But anyway, now we're going back into the first world and... Going to the top of the sunken ship. The first one was Big bub Sky Skyfall. Okay, so now I believe in this one, what we want to do is climb all the way up here. I'm not sure why I didn't do it the first time, but, you know, considering I was already up here and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting real good at these side flips, in my opinion. Or maybe I was already good. Anyway, you see there, there's the star. But how do we get to the star, I wonder? Well, 
there's a bob -omb hiding right up here. You need to use our cannon? Sure, just wait a moment while I open it for you. And with that, the magical blue bob -omb opens it up for us. Thank you, magical blue bob -omb. Ready for blast off. Go hop in the cannon when you are ready. Also, sorry if I'm moving about here a little. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the... The belly slide. Okay, apparently Mario does not want to belly slide here today. Which is a shame, because when you belly slide, you get huge momentum. And when you jump afterwards, you take zero fall damage. Which is also nice to know. I thought so anyway. I think we want to aim with the bottom of the cloud here? This seems a little too low, actually. Maybe it's where the sky breaks here? Nope, that was definitely too high. Okay, bottom of the cloud time. There. Somehow you can blast right into the star. I've done it before, but apparently I've forgotten because it's been quite a while since I've played this game. I also don't know how we're going for time because I did not check the time I started recording. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going in the side of the mountain, but I don't know why I feel like doing the 100 coins in this world right now, so that's what we're going to do. First episode, 100 coin mission. I don't see that being a bad thing at all. But then again, I don't understand most things. bob -omb, are you okay there? You were kind of glitching around the post. Yeah, and we're already one-tenth of the way through, already. Oh, no. Okay. 15% done, already. That sounds like good progress to me. I don't know. I should rewatch the speedrun to find out. I watch way too many speedruns for someone who isn't a speedrunner, I feel like. But then again, I'm sure everyone watches a lot of speedruns if they're into that. If they can afford the internet for it. I, however, have shitty internet at the moment, so I will not be. But hopefully I'll be getting good internet soon, which will be nice because that means more streams I can do and more uploads and everything else. I'm sure everyone wants more me content. Especially more streams, I should stream more. I had a huge hiatus from streaming. I'm not sure if hiatus is the word where you take a break. But that's essentially what I did, was take a break from streaming. I'm not sure when I'll be able to stream again either, which is the worst part. So, keep an eye out for them. I'm not sure why I didn't stream this game, actually. I streamed Super Mario 64, the first game in the Super Mario N64 series. Not that this can really count, because it was made years later by someone who isn't Nintendo. Is that illegal, though? Making ROM hacks? I feel like in some ways it is, in other ways it isn't. But, I'm not the one that makes the laws. I feel like Nintendo should be able to sue in some cases, but for the most part not, because it's got nothing to do with their original game. Okay, it uses some of their characters. But, at the same time, it's got nothing on the original. That's right, I didn't want to be up there anyway. I wanted to come all the way down here and collect this red coin. I swear to god, if I'm going to end up doing the red coin mission right now, I'm not going to be happy. Although I guess it'd save time. Then again, that is only my first red coin. Okay, so along here there's more coins. More. Thankfully it's not like the purple coin missions in the Galaxy games where there's only a hundred of them. Okay, some there's a bit of leeway, but for the most part not, and that's challenging, in my opinion. Depending on which mission it is, some they're challenging, others they aren't. And now, 
Okay, I wanted to long jump closer to home, but I guess that'll work. Right, up. Yeah! Have I destroyed this bomb? I feel like I have. Yep! They just respawn in because YOLO. Am I right? Or am I right? Wow, there's so many coins to collect in the 100 coins. And then I've got to come around to each of these locations again for the red coins. I feel like that's going to be hard to pay attention to. Especially when I've wandered around the level for once already. Were there any coins up this one? Have I been up this one? How did I lose two slithers of health? I don't know, but I've regained them now, thankfully. Now let's skip that red coin there, because that's what screwed me over last time. Also, is it me or does Mario not look as red from the original game? And yes, I use the term original game loosely because this is not the legit sequel. There is no legit sequel, I don't think, to Super Mario 64. But anyway... Oh, can I get it from here? I can. And now... Look! I did it! I did the no hit damage thing. I don't know if that was a glitch or in the original game, but I did it. And with that, I have all 100 coins. I have 103. Take a break or the game will be over before we know it. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna play the game. I'll play the game. Okay, and there we have it. Our fourth star. Okay, um... I don't know what I can do next, actually. I think that'll do it for this episode, because I'm not aware of what our time is up to or anything. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Star Road. I hope this is a wonderful series that continues to be wonderful. And now, I'll see you all laters. Ah, oh, it's Jail again. Hi, Jail.